Now that you're starting to feel really comfortable with forms and you've created a form for your website, surveys are just as easy, but they can be more fun. Surveys are great for sending out questionnaires to your customers or place them where you want to place them based on your products or services. We'll go in here to sites and surveys. We'll be at the builder. You can create a folder for all of your surveys. You can a survey. You can also see recents. So you can see the list and you can search your surveys. Let's go ahead and add a survey. I'm going to start from scratch so you can see the builder in action. The builder is the same exact builder that you had in the form. So I'm not going to go through all of the elements. You'll see all of your elements here, your custom fills the exact same way. Over here to the right, you'll see your styles and options. This is where you can style, select a theme, and add your options. Let's go ahead and call this survey question, and we'll just do the message on this one. But again, after they finish the survey, you can send them to a URL. You can also select the style. I'll leave this here to make it easy, but remember styles, you can go through all the styles and change the style of your form. The first thing that we want to do is add a slide. Now forms work in slides versus a form, which actually is just a single page form. You'll see right here, these little three buttons where we can hit our settings. When we select the settings, you can see this is slide one. So we'll just leave this called slide one, but you can rename your slide. Let me go ahead and add some elements to our slide. Let's go ahead and just add a first name, a phone number, and an email. This is where we will begin our slide. The second slide is just by selecting this little plus slide. Again, we can select this button and we can call our slide a second slide. So what's going to happen is when they answer these questions right here, you can easily drag and drop these in the order that you'd like. Let's go ahead and get them started with our first name, phone number, email. When they select this and when they fill out this information and when they click next, we're gonna take them to the next slide. So we can add different things. And again, you can add your custom fields here. We're going to ask them a custom field. Let's do a drop down, haircut or color. We'll just do haircut, haircut. Let's add an option and then let's add color. When I select save, don't forget to add it to the group or the folder or however you're gonna organize your custom survey fields. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. We need to look for the haircut or color. Based on the answer that they select, when they select haircut or color, this is where I would then take them down to different paths. So you'll see right here, I've got haircut or color. Let's fix this up here real quick haircut or color. And right here, you're gonna see this logic. We're requiring them to fill this out. We wanna know the logic. If they select haircut on slide two, what slide do I take them to? Let me give you an example. We're gonna add two slides. And now we've got slide four, which slide four, we can call this our haircut slide. And over here, we can call this our color slide. Now we've got a haircut slide and a color slide. If we were taking them to a haircut, let's go ahead and ask them another question, short or long. Just trying to make this as simple as possible to give you the idea here. Short, long, save. We're going to come over here. We'll do short, find that there's our haircut. And then when we do color, let's go ahead and add a question here. We'll just do another single drop down and let's do colors. Let's just do blue hair, red, dark. Let's do black. We'll do blonde and then let's do purple. Add that to the same contact. Save. Now we're going to do color. We'll add the colors here. Now what we're going to do is what's great about surveys is now we can go back to our slide two. Based on how they answer this question, it's going to take them to the haircut page or the color page. We'll go to number two. We'll select our settings. This is the question. And then right here, when we get to slide two, we'll select the settings. What we're going to do is we're going to select the haircut and color. I'm going to click on this. You'll see the box here. And what we want to do is set up the logic. If they answer haircut, what slide do we want to send them to? We want to send them to the haircut slide. If they select color, 
we want to send them to the color slide. You can continue to do this on and on. We can end it at the submit. When we select this button, we'll go to options. In options, you'll see a couple of different changes here. We'll do one question at a time. That will put all the questions here on one page, or you can have it be like this where it's got different slides, but the sticky content will scroll to the top and we'll leave that blank save. And then what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we tell it what we're gonna do when they're finished completing the form. Do we want to disqualify them immediately? Do we wanna add a message or a URL? Do we wanna disqualify after they submit? After they select submit, where do they go? Message or URL. Immediately when they hit next, where do they go? And don't forget when we hit next or we have our finalized section, where do we want to go? So after submit, do we want to send them a message? Thank you for the time to take our survey. I'm going to leave it at that. Save. You can preview your form as well. You can also integrate the form. You can embed the form to your website or you can add the link to your website. Adding conditional logic is fun. You can go on and on for days on your survey. Now what we'll do is we'll just save our form. Let's go ahead and go back. And when we go back to our forms, guess what? We are now able to see the form builder where we can search. Then we can go to the analyze right here. We'll see the total submissions of our survey. When you click view submission, it's going to take you to the submissions. You'll be able to see the person that filled it out and what were the answers to their questions right here in survey. Don't forget, you can also search these as well, and you can export these into a CSV file if you wanna search and look at most common questions. When it comes to surveys and asking your customers questions, it's good to export this because you can see and sort by the most people that answered one specific question or another specific question. You can export forms and surveys. They both allow for exports when it comes to submissions. And that's how you create a survey. Very fun, very interactive. You can and build all kinds of surveys for all kinds of things. Just keep in mind that when you go to actually embed the survey, the only difference is you can only embed a survey to a page or a link, whereas with forms, when it comes to forms, you can integrate with the layouts of sliding, with the sidebars, polite slides, pop-ups, and inlines. Surveys are also great for contests, giveaways, questionnaires, your products, your service or offerings, or even future offerings. Gathering that information from your current customers that's gonna help you make your business better. Oh,